congratulations to Graham from the Radio Cruncher channel here on YouTube. He guessed that this radio was a national uh, 218R. So well done, Graham. His channel link will be in the description below. So if you like radio repairs, spare parts, things like that, he's your man. Might be worth going and check him out. So anyway, virtual internet milk and cookies for you, Graham. Well done. Okay, now uh, this is the 218. Uh, here. It's a, probably about a 1975 build. It doesn't feature many transistors actually. There's about seven in there account. Uh, two and a half inch uh, speaker. It's got a, uh, a mono 3.5 mil output. It really is just a very basic radio. It even features the old cordage winding tuning mechanism. This radio when I got it was actually quite filthy as you saw in the previous uh, video. A lot of it was just crud from the batteries in the actual battery compartment itself, but as you can see, it cleaned up rather well. The only thing I can't do anything about is the damage to the surface at the front, but other than that, it's a pretty clean looking little radio, complete, and it functions quite well. And considering it's an odd design, in fact, that it only uses two d size batteries, which is unusual. Well, out of my radios anyway. So, yeah, you might be asking yourself, what does it sound like? Well, let's skip to the next clip and have a listen. The United States President Donald Trump's nuclear ambitions are among the Marshall Islands' concerns as it heads to court again over nuclear disarmament. The Micronesian state's appeal against the US federal court decision is due to be heard tomorrow. Sally Round reports. The Marshall Islands has had no wins so far in its battle to have the world's nuclear powers honor their promise to disarm under the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. Its case against the U.S. was thrown out a year ago on constitutional grounds, and in October, the International Court of Justice rejected the Marshall suits against India, Pakistan, and Britain. With the case now due in the Ninth District Court of Appeals, the Washington-based backers of the suit have raised Mr. Trump's concern it's falling behind on nuclear weapons capacity. The Marshall Islands was used by the U.S. as a nuclear testing ground in the 40s and 50s, and it's alleging the U.S. has failed to uphold its legal obligations to begin negotiations for an end to the nuclear arms race. It's looking for an order from the court to make the U.S. comply with its international commitments. This is Sally Round. The president of Kiribati has outlined his vision to make his country the Singapore or Dubai of the Pacific region. In a speech marking the first year of his government, President Saneti Mamo said fisheries and tourism were priorities for a quantum leap in development for the country. He said he wanted Kiribati to be a world-class, eco-friendly traveler destination. The president also plans to invest in human, natural and cultural capital and infrastructure development. He says some people may think his plans are ambitious, but he believes they are achievable if resources and energy are invested towards the target. Now before I go, as a token apology for being so late with this response video, I'm going to give you a sneak peek at the next radio in the What Am I series. So, that, that there, is all I'm going to show you. If you want to see more, you'll have to check out the next What Am I video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Feel free to subscribe, comment, or rate the video.